Welcome back to Design Bundles YouTube channel. If you guys are new here, my name is Crystal and today we're going to check out what's new on Cricut Design Space. So we have three of their new features that I want to go over. We're going to go over guides. We're going to go over some of their new print and cut features that they have. And then we're also going to talk about their monogram maker. So let's go ahead and dive right in. Let's go ahead and start out by talking about the guides. So we have used essentially the guides forever, but now they've made guides for us to where when we go to cut, they're not gonna be there. These are gonna help you design. So first of all, let me go ahead and show you, this is the design I would be showing you. Say for example, we're making a bathroom sign. What we normally would do is come over here to our shapes and I would bring in a square. So that way I can make sure I'm sizing this out perfectly. So let's just say for example that my sign is a 20 by 20. I'd go ahead and change that square here and just change it to a 20 enter. Let's go ahead and hit the back button so we can see here. Sometimes we may need to unlock the square and let's just say that my sign was 15 by, we'll say 15 by 20. So it's not exactly square. So then that way we could take our design here. I would move this backwards to so see how that's behind there. I would go ahead and get a range, bring to the front. And then that way I could maybe unlock this as well and kind of drag it around until I was happy with it so that I can figure out. And it may not be that I wanna go from edge to edge, but just so I could figure out where I wanted this to be. So we're using that square as a guide essentially. So once we had figured out what we were doing, we would just go back and then we would hit delete and we were ready to go. All right, so now what we're gonna be able to do is we're gonna go back to shapes, bring back in that square. Now what you can do, you can start out by sizing it out if you wanted to. So say for example, I'm gonna go back to that 20 by 20 square. And um, if I wanted to, once again, unlock it and do 15 by 20, and then I'm gonna lock it back. Now to turn on the guides for this, you're simply gonna come up where it says basic cut. You're gonna drop it down. And instead of choosing, you know, to change it to a pen or change it to a print and cut, now they have guide. So it says guide right down here at the bottom. You're simply going to do that and it's gonna change it like so. All right, so now when you bring this in, you're gonna see that you've got that red border and it may stay black until you pop your design in and then it'll turn red, but that is now just a guide. So you can see that here. So it got rid of the solid color and it's just going all the way around creating this guide. If I wanted to bring in a circle, for example, any of these shapes here, if I wanted to bring in a heart, I could do so. I'm gonna go ahead and bring it over here and size it out just so we can get it a little bit bigger and how it turns to a solid we can just add guide and then now it's just a guide now once again if you are using this as a guide once we're done we've sized it out we have it where we wanted to before i hit send i'm going to go ahead and weld this guy together because obviously we're not switching colors what's really cool when we go to send this to make it is I'm gonna hit on the mat, we're gonna hit continue, and it's going to put it on our mat. Now it's brought in a 12 by 24 because this is a 15 inch design. But what's really cool is it didn't bring in the guide. So it's not gonna try to cut the guide on top of everything else. The guide is invisible. So no longer do we have to go and delete it or even hide it. Cause sometimes when we would create the square two, another thing we would do is come over here and just hit the eye and hide it. You don't have to do that. So it's really, really exciting because it's not going to cut it. So we don't have to fuss with it. If we have our guides, we can save these files and keep them forever and do whatever you need to. But I love to use stuff like this, you know, instead of using the square and doing it the way we were, to have those guides is amazing. So I'm super excited for that. Next step is print and cut. So let me go ahead and upload a couple of sticker designs here. So I'll have these designs that I'm using, by the way, guys, down below. All right, so now that I've brought these in, we can go ahead and separate them out. So say, for example, these are stickers that I'm working with and I am creating several different sizes. What's really cool is, you know, if I go over here to this warning, so right now this is too big of a print and cut design. If I come over to the warning, it's gonna tell me I cannot cut bigger than 6.75 by 9.25, okay? So if I do an individual design, it cannot go bigger than that, all right? So we know that. So let's go ahead and just size this down just like these guys here. And now it's gonna be ready to go. Now this is where the change has came in. So we're gonna go ahead and hit make it. And now you see all of these on one sheet. Now this is where Cricut has made their change to where you can make a bigger border. So, you know, the smaller your design and you can only go to that 9.25 by 6.75, it's gonna create that border for us. Now watch this. If I go to move this down here, 
it moves the border. So it's kind of cool. So if I move this over here, it's gonna move. That's as big as it can go. And you can see that it is covering that entire sheet. Now, the downside to this is, you you seen just a second ago, I cannot make that one size, the one design, this entire thing. Now, if it was me and it's just my curiosity, I would assume since now they have made it possible, it's something they're still working on, uh, but for some reason it's kind of held up because I wouldn't see why Cricut has not made it to where I can do an individual design, pretty much almost an eight and a half by 11 because now it's doing that border all the way around. So depending on where I do this, you notice that it's gonna pop up and down. So basically what it has now for you is you can move them around on your sticker sheet so you can create, I guess, separate things because that kind of doesn't make sense. But I would say there's probably going to be coming more limitations or um, adding more to where we could almost do it a full eight and a half by 11, which is gonna be amazing. So y'all probably stay tuned on that. I wouldn't see why they couldn't because you can. So to me, it's almost kind of frustrating that we still can't do that single design and I'll show you that right now. So if I just did, go ahead and delete those. We just did this one. Once again, if I come out here, it's gonna give us that warning. So if I change this, let's go ahead and just change it to the 6.75 to get us within the border. All right, 6.75. And then we're gonna hit enter and you see that warning went away. We're gonna go ahead and go to make it. And then now it's on here. But ultimately, if they let us, so I can move it down here and you can see it's moving my square, we could ultimately make this bigger. So I'm not too sure 100% on that. Um, let me go ahead and go back just to be sure. I'm gonna hit cancel. Let's go ahead and hit undo undo and let's see if it's proportion if it's because of the proportion of it so i'm going to go ahead and delete this one delete this one and let's see if it lets me make this one bigger than the nine point let's see nine point which i would be able to ultimately go let's see 9.75 i could always or 9.25 sorry about that guys so ultimately i could always go at least because this is not even going 6.75 and if i hit make it that was something that could always happen so ultimately depending on your size because i could do 6.75 by 9.25 you could always do it this big but it's just kind of that width going there if that makes sense so now it's like if I wanna move it over to the right, that box follows me. So that's something that's new. So depending on how, you know, like I said, if you, we can now fit more onto one sheet, that's amazing. So if it's something that works for you and you've been looking forward to, you can now do that as well. All right, so let's go ahead and talk about the last one here, which is the monogram maker. So now at the very bottom, as you can see, you can make a monogram. But the problem is you do have to be an access member. So in order to use this, you can definitely play around with it so you can see where it says start free trial there so in order to play around with it i can go ahead and hit continue and i can still it's going to let you play with it but in order to cut it's going to make us upgrade so what you're going to do is just start to type out your initials so we're going to go ahead and type out c a t it's going to type up there's letters next option is we're going to be able to choose our text style so depending on you know how you want this monogram to be there's several different options it seems like so let's go ahead and go back up here let's choose this one we can change it to modern we can do elegant it's going to give us a few more options down here so depending on your choices there we have classic and then we have thematic here. So you can see here, this is gonna give you some print and cut stuff as you can see here. So we do have those decorative occasions. So um, there's a few different ways that you can do this monogram and it's gonna give you some examples there. And then we're gonna go ahead and go back over to classic. You have operation type. We can change it from cut, draw, all of that here. Another option that you do have is you can add these little borders around it, if you will. Um, so you can definitely do that as well. Now, once again, in order to use this, and it is still in beta, just like their offset feature, um, you have to be a Cricut Access member. Fear not, I don't know if you guys know this, but at Design Bundles, it's always been like this for quite some time. We actually have a monogram maker that you guys can use absolutely free. Let me show you. Jumping over here to designbundles.net to find our free monogram maker. If you guys scroll down here to the bottom, so just keep on scrolling, which we have some really cute designs right now, by the way, especially those really trendy money cards. We have so many different designs going on right now. You're just going to scroll all the way to the bottom of the screen. And what you want to come over to is resources. So right down here, you're going to see where it says monogram maker. You're simply going to click on it and it's gonna open up a new screen. 
completely free, guys. This has been here for quite some time. We don't talk about it very often, and it's probably something that I should. So if you guys wanna create a monogram, you don't wanna to upgrade to Cricut Access, come over here, and I'm gonna show you how easy it is to use today. All right, so what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna go ahead and show you this one. So I'm gonna go ahead and type out CT. So here's my letters here, right? And I'm actually gonna make this bigger so you guys can see. I'm gonna hold down the shift and then drag this out just to keep it proportional. And I'll bring it up here so hopefully you guys can see everything. So we've got a few different options with the, um, you know, with the type of font that you wanna use as well. So depending on the design that you wanna use, um, you could just do single letters, whether you guys are making a great big wreath sign, I mean, so on and so forth. Whether you guys, there's some really cool ones down here too, like this, like I said, if you were doing a single letter, um, lots and lots of different options. Let's say I was doing this one, making a keychain, selecting a frame. So if I wanna add a frame, just like I showed you with theirs, we could definitely add a frame to this as well. Once again, if I feel like I need to size out a little bit, hold that shift, drag that out there a little bit, and then center that back up. All right, so it's super duper easy. You could also add a background to it if you wanted to. So you can just click, click on this here. And then if you wanted to bring in one of your files and add that PNG here, you could do that as well. So you can also go right down here at the bottom. And if you wanna change that color, you can do so as well. So if I wanted to change that pink, I could do that. So all of my little elements and pieces, I can change all of those as well. Once you're done, super easy guys, in and out, you're ready to go. You do have your options, by the way, to center these. So if I wanna center vertically, um, horizontally, or anything like that, I can definitely do that. So I can go ahead and select these and do that. But to save this, so easy. You're gonna hit save. You're simply gonna go ahead and name it. So I'm gonna name it CT. You can save it as a PNG, SVG. List goes on here, DXF if you guys are using a silhouette. I'm gonna go ahead and choose an SVG version and I'm gonna click on download. All you simply have to do is enter your email address and then I'm just simply gonna go ahead and hit download. You can also log in with your Facebook if you want to. So if you don't wanna use your email, you can definitely log in with Facebook and then you can also log in and, and that way you're kind of logging in and out if you want to. So that way you don't have to enter your email every single time and boom, it added it right onto the computer. I'm gonna show you guys how to bring it back into um, Cricut Design Space. But once again, you could definitely just log in create an account that way you just log in each time and then just download them. So it is super duper easy to use and then you don't have to sign up for the access. You do not have to be one of our plus members, by the way, this is completely free for you. All right, so now that we're back over here in Cricut Design Space, let's go ahead and upload it. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on upload. We're gonna go to upload an image. We're gonna go to browse, and then we're just going to find that file. Now I also brought it in a PNG version. So if you're struggling with your SVG at all, click on the PNG version, because ultimately you can still cut it out just like an SVG. We're gonna save it as a complex. If you bring it in as a PNG, just like so, apply and continue. I'm gonna save it as a cut image, and then we're gonna click on upload, and there you have it. So it's just like that, super duper easy to use our monogram maker, and once again, it's completely free for you guys to use, and there you guys have it. So those are the current updates that Cricut has recently added in 2022. So if you guys are super excited about any of these, let me know down below. I will have the monogram maker link down below for you as well as the files that I have used. I hope you guys have enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful. If you did, please hit the like button down below and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.